your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about the reason hey guys McJeffrey here and welcome to That's right guys, we are back. Welcome back to City Skylines. I am of course Majefries, and the lag has returned as well. That's not good. Also, I don't seem to have access to... Oh no, I do have access to the top right of the screen. For a second there I thought I didn't. Now today I had ambitious plans for the episode, but um, if the lag is going to continue like this, I might have to choke it back slightly. I mean look, this is how you can see how bad it is. When just everything is going slowly. Again, I don't want to do this, but it might make a difference if I clear the traffic. Does it make a difference? It does a little bit. So if I could just play this game without traffic for a little bit. There we go. I never even considered doing that. But yes, today we are going to make huge changes to the industrial area. Um, basically, I'm bored of the industrial area. So I want to make some changes. First thing I want to do is convert all of this area here to offices. Uh, so let's see. Get rid of all this. Get rid of all this. You get the basic idea. I'm just going to go around, get rid of all these little bits, all the way up to the railway. Get rid of all these sections here. Like so. And all along here. Get rid of all the outside bits. Don't really want them anymore. Um, and yeah, just get rid of all this section as well. Just like that, like this, like this. A bit boring this actually. <clears throat> I was hoping if actually I can do it quicker. What am I talking about? Could do it like that. And then to re put it all back in, I can just grab this corner, drag all the way up to there. And there we go, all offices. Okay. So that's that bit done. Now, what I want to do is grab from here all the way up to the end here. Get rid of all of that. Um, and then get rid of all of this. Like so. Get rid of that. And yeah, that's good. Okay. Now we go into the transport tab, which I want to access from there. I want to access from here. <coughs> Excuse me. Because the next thing we want to do is delete all the bus lines. And this is a slightly controversial thing to be doing in this episode. We want to get rid of that one and we want to get rid of that one. But actually, when you see what the plan is, you'll see that actually it was unfeasible to carry on doing this. We want to keep this blue one and we want to keep this yellow one. Because they are actually quite good where they are. Not, not a problem with those. Um, we didn't have any metro stations up here or anything, did we? No, we did not. That's fine. Next thing to do then is to get rid of the taxi stands. Which was actually doing a pretty good job getting rid of traffic, but even so. It was becoming a bit of a pain. Okay, so like that. Now we want to get rid of fire stations and things like that that we might have. Nothing like that. Police, yeah, we've got loads of police stations here. And yet lots of crime as well. That must be to do with the one-way system we've got going on here. Okay. Now the next stage of the process is scrap all of these roads. All of these rubbish roads. I made the mistake of thinking that if you make the industrial area one big block, 
then people will be happy with it. But actually, that's not true at all. Far from, really. You want to make it accessible first, and then you want to make it functional. So really, I went about this completely wrong. Uh, let's see, if I get rid of all these sections here as well, we're going to replace this bit with a roundabout. Um, yeah, again, this is a bit of a boring section. It's just getting rid of these roads. It's terrible. kind of wish I'd done the beginnings of this off camera, but I wanted you guys to see what it was I had planned. So I thought the best way of doing that was to do it on camera. Uh, like so. We're nearly done anyway. As I say, this is the worst bit. Okay, so I might as well talk you through the plan whilst I'm doing this. The plan is to create lots of different districts within the industrial area. As I said, all of this section here is now industrial. So, we're going to have offices, we're going to have um, factories, we're going to have all that kind of stuff. Cargo terminals, although we've got cargo terminals, don't need to worry too much about that. And there we go. All gone. If I now play the game again, all these buildings should disappear. Yeah, you see they're starting to. Um, there's something here as well which I want to play around with in the future. You get to name roads, which I think is really cool. But, as I say, we'll worry about that some other time. Um, I forgot to link this up again. Yeah, we definitely want this linked up. Let's do it with trees as well. Make this quite nice, considering... You know, it's industrial, but it's meant to be nice industrial. Like that. Uh, we'll do that a little bit there as well. Right, roundabouts. We want a big roundabout, which we have somewhere. This one. Yep, large roundabout. <coughs> Look at that. Fits perfectly. Although saying that, we are going to change these road designs like so. This, we might not even have in, in the end. Um, this we want to upgrade. I want to upgrade it to a two-lane with trees. We're basically going to do what we did down here. Which, again, come to think of it, we're going to have another area that breaks off this. But we'll worry about that in a second. That, that can come in a second. Some of these buildings really should have been demolished by now. And yet haven't. Come on, game. See the lag again is starting to kick in. Pause. What is that? Oh, it's a taxi stand. I missed one. It's no good. Alright, get rid of all these buildings. That'll do. Okay. So that's the uh, the gist of it done. I want to go back and make sure that this is all done again properly. Yeah, you can see we've lost the uh, the road layout here. Like that. This one... I did manage to select it how I wanted to before. To work on the road lanes rather than the rail. I seem to have lost that again. Oh well. Um, the roundabout I'll do off camera because that can get very boring indeed. Right, let's actually focus on this, shall we? So I want a new uh, industrial area with factories to come off this road here. So I think the best way of doing that is I just want to sort of build a rough sort of shape uh, like so and then like that. That'll do. 
Then we're going to grab this. And we're just going to fill in all the gaps. So like that. Here we're going to fill in... Uh, like that. Up here we're going to go... Round a bit like that. Again, just join that up here. We're going to go round like that. And then we're going to fill in this gap like so. Uh, here. Yeah, just like that. Doesn't have to be particularly neat. Just has to be... Yeah, that's quite good. We could end up with traffic on these roads again, but I think having them as two-way roads is probably going to be better than having them as one-way roads, because traffic can then flow in either direction, depending on what's easier. I think that's the key for this. That's one of the mistakes that I made before, was try to make all the traffic flow in one direction, which sounds like a good idea, until you then need to get in things like fire engines and ambulances and police cars, and then it just becomes chaotic. Just absolute chaos. Not worth it. Right, all the way down here like this. It's going to be a really weird windy road. Um, fill in this gap. Fill in this gap. And this gap. And finally that gap. That looks alright actually. I quite like that. And then we'll just put in a couple of cul-de-sacs over here. Fill in that, and then one here to fill in that. Sweet. Okay. Now it's all about factories. Now I don't want factories on the roundabout. That's a key thing to try and avoid. Or on this main avenue. However, once you turn off into this section here, we do want factories. We want lots of factories. And again, be careful not to put them onto that main avenue. Is there a way to make this brush bigger? There is not. I think I've asked that before. It's quite annoying, really. Alright, select that one and that one. All of those. Right, now I can just sort of go a bit... Well, I'll say that. I can't really there, can I? Go a bit crazy with this. that one and then that one that one how's that that looks good to me so that's all factories um, this section up here as well it's going to be all factories again be careful not to go onto the outside road the avenue here is just to get traffic moving this one into and out of all these different sections. Each one of these areas is going to be its own region. It's going to have its own policies, its own um, sort of designation, really. Like that. So that's two sections done. Um, I might just, for the sake of it, do this bit as well. And all of this bit. Go to that, go to that. Okay, and then finally, doing, actually no, this bit is going to be offices in here. Like so. And then of course the other thing we need to do is get the bus lines back in. Now I should say, the railway as it currently stands... This station here is probably going to stay intact, although it might be moved, thinking about it. It might be moved down onto this main road here, maybe have a little sort of uh, lay-by that we'll build the station on. The rest of the rail network is going to be completely revamped. Some of the stations will remain the same, like not this one. Zoom out. This one here is going to stay the same, although I might put this um, diverting line underground. 
Uh, this station in the middle of Majeffrey's Parkway, that's going to stay the same. Not that one, this one. Although that one will stay the same as well. But this one especially is going to stay. Um, but then all of this bit over here, this station is going to change. This station is definitely going to stay. Because I think I like the look of it, but the rail around it is going to change. This station is going to go completely, because I just don't think it's used that much. Um, and there's going to be a couple of new stations added, a couple of old stations taken away. And we're just going to we'll make it look nicer. We're going to have an inner working line, so just trains from inside the city. And then we're going to have an outer region line. So we're going to separate those. We're also going to have an inner region line for the cargo and an outer region line. Because I don't think this is used enough. This, uh, this cargo terminal. We're supposed to have big queues of vehicles here and it's just not really working right now. Uh, we also need to move some commercial around and build. We've got Mulberry Hills here which is a big sort of shopping district um, and leisure district and then we've got Sunset District as well but apart from that we've got a bit of, a, of it in the Amity District and the main road here and a bit around Mulberry Hills and Rosewood Heights and Canal District but overall not that much. So I think we could do with just one big mass of commercial as a shopping district and build like shopping malls there as well. Um, but I'm getting distracted. I'm getting very distracted. We need to, first of all, check this is all watered, which it should be. Yes, there's a tiny little bit here that isn't. Correct that. There we go. Um, and the rest of this, yes. Very nice, very lovely. Right, districts. Do this one first. We're going to follow this road like this, and then we're going to sort of do this with it. Because there's no buildings on the uh, the main avenue, don't need to worry too much about that. We can just take this right up to the edge, like so, and then sort of join it diagonally like that. Like that. Oriental Park. I quite like that one, actually. That's quite a nice name. Then do the same for this section here, just basically do a big area inside that. Meadow Heights, again, quite nice. We'll get rid of the district on this avenue, because we're actually going to make a district of the avenue around here. Right, again, just use the road here as an outline. Whoops. Holly Square, yeah, we're going to change that. First of all, it's not square. That's the big problem. And um, plus, there's no holly around here, so seems a bit misleading. Don't want people to think it's Christmas because I, I don't want to sound like a killjoy or a, um, a Scrooge or anything like that. But people who have started celebrating Christmas already, it is still November, guys. You know, first day of Advent is December the 1st. That's when I will start thinking about Christmas. Until then, it is November. So let's rename this. We'll name this... F f f something Heights, I want to call it. Or something Park. Let's just call it the Majeffrey's Industrial Park. Whoops, I can't spell. And there's real lag in typing as well. Wow. I-N-D-U-S-T-R-I-A-L. And I've missed the I. Sorry, guys. My, It's not even my keyboard's fault. It is entirely my fault. There we go. Jeffrey's Industrial Park. And that begins what's going to become a brand new industrial area. We're going to have some more offices spa office space down here. We're going to have some more um, factory space across this way as well. And yeah, it's just going to look nice when it's finished. Now, last things I want to do is put in a joining road here, a joining road here, and a joining road here just to help with traffic flow. We will jazz all this up again. Um, jazz all this up again like so and yeah that will do for now guys I will go and put the bus line in off camera and I will carry on building some of this off camera I'll show you next time what it is I've come up with
But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I will see you soon.